Yeah, let's start worship. Let me share my screen. Uh, uh, let's start a worship. Uh, let's start with our post creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his Son only, uh, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, let's praise. Uh, this is a praise called This is My Desire. Sorry, I didn't bring my guitar today. I hope if anyone can know this praise, we can praise together. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is you. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every moment I'm away, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you, all I have within me, I give you praise all that i adore is in you lord i give you my heart i give you my soul i live for you alone every breath that i take Every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, have your way in me. Amen. Uh, let's have our, let's have Daniel pray for us. Okay, I'll pray for this English worship. Thank you, dear God. Please let us save the empty places in 237 countries. And please let us become the spiritual warden that connects the spiritual network. And let us become the spiritual doctors who will heal the empty places. And let us take possession of that land that God has given for us. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, let's read our Bible verse. Today's Bible verse is Romans chapter 16, verse 25 to 27. I have it up the screen. If you want to, if you can read it together, let's read it together. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith and to the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, today is the new year of, and it's the first message of the new year right as we know and uh, new years are new things for us and new changes but something that we need to hold on every day is the gospel and this gospel is christ today's title is my life inside the gospel my life inside the gospel so what does that really mean saying that my life is inside the gospel. First of all, it means that we are saved. And secondly, because we are saved, we have the blessings inside this identity that we have as a children of God. It says in the Bible that we don't have a spirit of slavery anymore, but now we have the spirit of adoption, which we can call our God Abba, Father. In other words, we don't belong anymore to death or to sin or to curses, but now we belong to what? To the Heavenly Father, which is inside the kingdom of God. That's why today we need to understand what does really mean that our life is inside the gospel. First, in Romans chapter 16, 25, 27, we read this Bible verse today. We are strengthened inside Jesus Christ. Everything is revealed inside Christ. And as we heard today's message in our Sunday service, everything we must find inside Christ. Because in Christ, there's everything. That's why our life being inside the gospel is not in our own efforts, but... It is receiving guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with us. 1 Corinthians 3, 16. We are his temple. And in his temple, the Holy Spirit dwells. Because the Holy Spirit dwells in us, he promised us that he will be with us forever, till the end, and eternally. That's the blessings that we have as the children of God. And because the Holy Spirit is within us and will be forever with us, it means that he will guide us and work in our life. Have you ever asked yourself, if God is with me, how or why does things, why things happens to me or bad things happens to me? Can we call it coincidence or can we call it miracles or can we call this bad luck, right? It's not all about that. We need to understand that God has called us for a purpose. And the first purpose was to give you salvation. That's the most important thing. God gave you Christ only. So you can be what? Saved through his son and receive eternal life in abundance and being the light and the salt for this world. That's why God has given us so many blessings, but these blessings we cannot see with our eyes, right? 
Why we cannot see with our eyes? Because it's very important. For the remnants that are, are listening today, um, our, our precious remnants, Emily, Greta, Daniel, and all the remnants that we have in our church. Uh, they're from Germany. And we also have all the kids from another country. We also have Joseph from another country. So these blessings we are, we are enjoying because we have one thing in common. And that one thing in common is what? Christ. It's this gospel. We have people from Philippines too. We have people from South Africa too. And so many countries. I myself, I'm from Panama. So how can we call this coincidence, right? If it's coincidence, then we should not be able to meet in one place in one time doing worship. This is the blessings God has given us as children of God and as people of God. That's why let us not forget that the gospel is everything for you. Find everything inside the gospel. Search everything inside the gospel. If you wonder, how can I search everything my, in, the, in the gospel? I'm telling you, everything is in the word of God. If we don't understand this, we will, we will start using our own methods. Start using our own heads and our own thoughts, own experiences. But this, all of this is me, myself doing these things. But we, can, we are not capable of doing so many things in a time, right? That's why God told us, I will give you a promise. I give you this one power. And this is what? When the, when the, when the, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll be my witnesses to all Judea, Samaria, Jerusalem, and to the ends of the earth. So the remnants today, our young generations, and also our most important people that are the church officers and the mothers of many kids, Remember one thing, the gospel is the only thing that we must put in our generations. And the generations are growing. Remember, the only thing you must listen to live and to be guided is the gospel. And I want to mention one more thing. For the young people, we know and you might know or you might feel that listening to the gospel is so repetitive. Or you might say, I know this content. That's great. You know this content. I am so happy that you know this content and you are recognizing that this is something that you're listening always. But we don't need to just end it like that. We need to do one more thing. is to enjoy this gospel. This is the key. How can we enjoy the gospel? That's the title of today. You need to be inside. My life must be inside what? The gospel. That's what we say in Galatians chapter 2.20. I no longer live, but Christ lives in what? In me. I am no longer me, myself. In other words, my old past has passed. The old me has passed. So all the things I did before, it really doesn't matter. God is looking at you right now, the present day. Because you have what? Christ in your heart. And he has given you the blessings of eternity. If we die, where are we going? To heaven. This is, and that's our place to go. So never forget that this gospel is the key of all answers. But you must enjoy this. Romans chapter 116 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation. To everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Remember, the gospel is from God. Gospel is power of God, he says. You should never be ashamed of the gospel. We will come to an age, and we are in an age, that if we say that we assist or attend church, people give you the looks, right? You go to church, hey, you will get corona, right? All these things, right? all these comments that we get. Hey, we're in your church, had this problem with whatever this thing, et cetera, X or A factor. You know, people will always say things 
to tell you that the gospel is not valuable enough to believe or have. But today we read in Romans 1.16, for you, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it's what? Power of God. It says in the Bible, so in, in 1 John 2.20, it says, we look that we don't have anything, but we have achieved, we have a possessed everything already. What is everything? I'm telling you, everything is salvation. If you have this one thing, which is salvation, you have everything. But now you have everything, but now you got to enjoy this. How can you enjoy this? Listening to the word, evangelizing this magnificent magnificent and beautiful and, and such an important gospel and also praying the only way we can enjoy this thing is through the word through evangelism and to prayer if we have these three things always in our life we will be always thankful and we will recognize that god is in control of everything remember Romans 8, 2, for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. You no longer belong to the sin, neither the law of death. So today conclusion, my life must be inside the gospel, of course, but I cannot force myself being inside the gospel. You need to just recognize Though you are already inside the gospel because you have received Christ in your heart. If Christ is in your heart, you are already in his gospel. So it's not living a religious life. It's not living a way to try to achieve some spiritual status. The status that you must have is always being able to pray, being able to listen to the word. I am so happy to meet the, the, our remnants, our, our young, young generations, you know, making a little effort to worship God today. We are in a time that worship is not so important for many people. But for the few people that are here also listening today, they're making just 30 minutes of time. People may say it's not enough 30 minutes, but I believe it's 30 minutes is more than enough. Why? Because for one second, for God can be thousand years. For one second could be eternal for God. So we cannot put time on our remnants, how they're growing. 30 minutes is enough for the remnants. Even one minute is enough for the remnants. In other words, for our young generations. So us, me as an adult too, and as an assistant pastor, my duty is only proclaim what? the gospel. And I hope that today you hold on to that conclusion. My life is inside the gospel. I no longer belong to what? Sin, curses, and Satan. I am now within what? The blessings inside Christ. I hope that you hold on to this word. Never forget that God is always with, with you. And God is always guiding you. And wants you to enjoy all these blessings. Let's pray. And we'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you, God, for allowing us and giving us the blessings so we can be inside the gospel. Let us acknowledge and recognize that our life is already blessed. Why? Because Christ, who died for us in the cross, resurrected, ascended, and you have sent us the promise his counselor, which is the Holy Spirit. You're working with your Holy Spirit, guiding us with the Holy Spirit, and healing us through the Holy Spirit. Let us enjoy the works of what would you have given us to us through this covenant. Let us be the witnesses as you promised when we receive the filling of the Holy Spirit. Bless all of our young generation, our remnants, our church officers, our all the mothers that have such an important time to, to, to nurture the kids. Give them the wisdom given inside Christ. Let them find everything inside Christ. We give you thanks for all the people that are from another nation. Let them have peace in their hearts. While they have their peace, let them recognize and acknowledge 
that you have everything in control. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your, be, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, thank you for assisting today. I have a, I have a, I have a petition. Um, actually, we can um, do a forum. We can make uh, rooms, and I can assign you to those rooms, and you can have a forum time. Yeah. I don't want it to take so long. Um, but I will assign you the forums. Let me see how we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're 21 right now. So hmm. I will assign. I will assign first the remnant team, okay? I will put Daniel. Oh, wait, wait a second. Daniel, Kristen, Emily, Greta, and I'll put um, Kangmin, and Changyuri Jusa. I'll put you there. Okay. Okay. So you guys can be inside those rooms. And I will assign the second room will be Riza, Eugene Samuni, Hana, Myla, and Joseph. Tungyan, I'll put you on Dahyun So, Cheun, Chejun, Kim Changyan, Son Yejin. Good. 김은희 권사님은 아마 제가 필리핀 팀으로 넣을게요. 이모, 이번 애가 있어서 나가야 될것 같아요. 아, 이번, 이번이에요? 네. 이번 애가 있어서, 원래, 원래가 있어서 네, 나가야 될것 같아요. 네. 그러면, I, 그러면, I open the rooms so you guys can go and join. Okay. The Yuriji son, you see, Tragal to Anaya. Okay.